Full six rounds later at the final match of the Rugby Championship. All rounds have been completed and this is the final remaining fixture. Argentina at home against Australia. Hello everyone and welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, the home of Rugby Challenge 2 where we are here at the Rugby Championship final round six match against Argentina and Australia. The team Australia that beat Argentina a couple weeks ago and they have kept their same squad from that big win last week against the All Blacks now to face the Wallabies at their home ground. Now you may remember two weeks ago where Argentina went down 28-14 to Australia at Patterson Stadium. A few changes have been made since and that resulted in a 31-14 victory for them over New Zealand here in this same stadium and now they have a chance for redemption Australia the only team that they have not beaten yet in the competition and of course the added bonus if they win today they could go up to second place just one point behind the All Blacks if they win. The Australians on the other hand they have a chance to take out the trophy and well it's up to Argentina to stop them that is really what it is all about if Australia take five points from this match they will claim the rugby championship. South Africa are done and dusted. They are gone way down the bottom. They won't be moving anywhere from fourth. And the Australians need a big five-point bonus point to overtake New Zealand, who are on 19 points, and Australia are now on 15. So this is a match with Saint deciding on it. Of course, the other thing that could happen is Argentina could pass the Australians into second. So a lot to play for for these two teams. Australia are on a good run after beating South Africa in the last two weeks, 39, 28 and 12 points to 7. So good form for the Australians as well as their Argentinian match, 28-14 in between there as well. So luck and form is on the Australian side and we're going to crack down here for the kickoff for the final match of the Rugby Championship. It will be the Australians to kick off and it will be Mog with the ball in his hand to kick it off. Halfway, hush around the crowd as Jesse Mog puts the left boot to it and he goes high deep down into Argentinian territory and Landajo, the hero from last week with that last minute extra try, the bonus point try over the All Blacks, gets the first play. Contempomi, Contempomi cutting them in half already and Amashley Cooper just got smoked and Morosino, he's going to have the wheels, he's got a chase from Mog but Morosino might score the first try straight off the kickoff. First play of the match, first breakdown, first try, Argentina lead 5-0. What a run from Amorosino, but put it back, all the way back to Contempomi. He just cut, speared around the outside of Adam Ashley Cooper. We won't go back far enough to see, but that was a great run from Contempomi. Outside of Ashley Cooper. And then drew in the defence, the fullback and the winger cut back inside. He drew the pass out to Amorosino, who just smoked down that touchline. Too much speed for Mog. And everyone else that gave chase, Tamani was there as well. Too much for them. And try time, Argentina again lead early on. 5-0 this time. Again, all made by this man. Definite player of the tournament for Argentina right out in front, should be an easy one for Contepomi he biffs it over, easy kick for the superstar veteran last match possibly for Argentina here as well for him big player, big game player and he's brought his match today, he has brought the A game so far, opening 6 minutes at 7-0 Argentina lead kick off deep down, no one claims it, it's left to bounce and it's taken from Tamani Good take there, the winger coming through, but poor kickoff technique from Argentina and Australia have retained possession. Guinea gives it off away. It's going to be a try here, no one home at all outside on the right hand side. And it is a try for Lilia Fano. Australia hit back instantly. And there's just something about these Wallabies that Argentina can't fathom. They've proved they can handle South Africa. They've definitely proved they can handle the All Blacks, but Australia just have that something about them that just ticks them over the Argentinians at the moment, the Pumas. Struggle to put them away. 
They got the 7-0 lead, but credit to them. Great pass outside from Alexander to Liliafano, who had the easy job of finishing things off and will have the kick at conversion too. But really, it was a poor kickoff take from Argentina. Left alone, Tamani picked it up, and it was all curtains from there. Seven all is the kick from Liliafano is good, and we have a tied ball game. Well, just after 10 minutes, what a frantic start to this match. Three seconds short of 10 minutes to be exact. So no wind really to speak of here for Argentina as Contempomi kicks off. He goes to the right-hand side now. Amorosino, the man who launched that attack earlier, claims the kickoff back and they spread it very quickly to the left. Here's Hernandez looking to go by himself. Can't get around Falau. But very quickly, they have retained position. Landajo, Contempomi. Oh, good play from Contempomi. Nearly sneaked inside. Slipper. But he won't get very far. More forms and Figalo playing at halfback. Here's Luguzamon. Good ball here for Amorosino. He's got one on one with Mark. Oh, just into the corner. Maybe should have opted for a better option there. Tried to play the power game. Mog took him into touch. And now we have a line out. Australia, more to throw in. That was very close. Oh, just got in there from Horwell. And Guinea thumps it down. The man that made the break, Amrosino, goes back for it. He launches back to the left. Good pass for Contempomi, who goes through a big hole again. The man has been everywhere, and now he knocks it on. And the door not in quite into touch, though. Australia with the ball. Advantage still with them. Advantage over now. Guinea, big pass out to the left. Good for McMiniman. Goes wide for Lilifano, who inside the tackle because it's to Tamani. Amorosino and Tamani. Oh, good play and great tackle from Bosch. And easily secured from Australia. No one had either player had any support there. As through goes Tumua. Puts the kick in. Is this a drop goal attempt? Doesn't matter. It's short. I'm off. Picks it up. And now he gives it away to Contempomi, who goes into the tackle. Argentina needs to secure this ball. The, the main kicker is down. That is a bit of a problem. Landajo goes to Hernandez. He puts his boot to it. Looking for touch. Won't find it. Mog, has he gone into touch? No. He's just stayed in. Tumani. Now two more. Oh, brilliantly plays. And Tamani. Oh, that's got to be a penalty. That is offside for starters. Tamani knocking that on. He will set. Oh, Moore. Stephen Moore knocked it on. Tamani, man offside. Crouch. We go back for that. The scrum. 25 gone at 7-7. Things settling down a bit as we have a scrum near halfway. 10 minute line. Oh, good hit there from Argentina. Fernandez Lobby goes off the back by himself and comes away to the right. Hernandez, good ball for Contepomi. Takes a tackle and gives Amorosino some room. He looks back inside. Chips ahead. Hernandez giving chase along with Landajo and Contepomi. Oh, brilliant chase from Hernandez. Release. And look at the Argentinians looking to get to this ruck quickly. Could they secure it? Brilliant work. Great turnover. Argentina. Here we go. Fernandez gives it to Matera. Matera will straighten things and he'll go in by himself and score. Argentina hit back. And this time they won't let Australia get on top of them. Matera. Oh, such brilliance from the youngster. He was outstanding in the first couple of rounds, but went rather quiet. But now he's back with a vengeance and a super try. Had Contempolmi. Didn't need him. Guinea made a desperate late tackle, but couldn't stop him putting the ball down. That's how good he is. Power and strength. Speed for the number seven. Such a great player. Future. Oh, huge future for this man. He takes the lead back for Argentina in their home ground. Final match here. For 2013. chance to make it 14-7 here's Contempomi should be a regulation kick for him oh he's nudged it wide oh that could be interesting hasn't missed a beat for the whole competition Contempomi but just nudging that one wide and it just puts a different shade on the scoreline here as Australia kick off, just five points of difference now. They go to the right hand side. Everyone's going up for it. Or Landy gets it. Here's Landajo. Pops a shocking little lobby pass up. And it's intercepted by Australia. Release. Simmons picking that one up. And now here. Oh, big hit on Guinea. 
and turned over. Fernandez lobby. He comes away now. Conta Palmi pops it up. Matera gives it to Creevy. Creevy, the big man, away on the right hand side, all by himself, and throws an intercept pass. That looked forward. Now it's wide by Adam Ashley Cooper for Mog. And Mog goes into the tackle. Both teams putting big players in there. Away it goes for. Oh, Lilifano, who puts the kick in from halfway. Going across is Bosch. Bosch launches an attack. Look at this from Bosch. He's going to pump it downfield. Looking for the corner. It's going to sit up nicely inside the 22. Fernandez. Fernandez. Oh, that was close. Oh, the ball's been forced anyway as halftime goes. So that will signal the end to the half. Very anticlimactic way to end things there. That was just about a try. Fernandez was flying up there, but just forced down. As we go to half time, very quickly, players in the tunnel before we even realise what had happened. So, half time, Argentina lead 12 points to 7. And they have had a good portion of the ball here, Argentina. 59% for them. Territory fairly even, and both teams making very little handling errors. Just one for Australia, which makes what's that? A match and a half, 120 minutes of rugby. Australia have made one handling error. That is remarkable stuff from the Wallabies. Tackles fairly even with Australia nudging that one due to less ball. That makes sense. Line breaks though. Argentina piles ahead. 7-2. to two. Streaks ahead in that department. And they are well in front. If they can hold on here. Five point lead. They could see themselves move into second place. And that would be, well, that would be more than they could have ever dreamed of. The goal was one win. They've got three. If they could make it four, it would be... Well, cream on top, icing on top, and would cap off a brilliant year for Argentina. They still have 40 minutes to go. Who has the stamina? Who has the fitness? Who has the desire and determination? Australia, three tries away from that bonus point as well if they want to topple the All Blacks in the first spot. So this is going to be a very big 40 minutes. We know the Aussies are capable. What have Argentina got left in the tank? It's been a big, big tournament for them. Let's crack back down. They look ready to go. Second half coming right up. That man has had a huge, huge influence on the series for Argentina. He's going to kick us off. Here he goes to the left. He's favoured the left side. And it's going nicely away for Fernandez. Omoff and Landajo were all there waiting for it. Leguzamon, Alba City, they're spinning it quickly from left to right. Matera has to fall on it to pick it up. Oh, that's close to the sideline. Probably might have been a better option to put it out because Australia's turned this over. Here is Slipper. Huge pass from Slipper to Hooper. Figalo, he's on Falau. It's a big matchup now. Here comes Adam Ashley Cooper. He's only got Bosch on him. He's got away from Bosch but steps into touch. Desperation. Tackle from Marcelo Bosch. Did just enough to. And we already have advantage Australia for the first use of the ball here's the line out Cazillo the only jumper takes it nicely for Landajo now where's his support he's got Orlandi the big man good ball from him too for Hernandez Hernandez cuts him in a little big hole he puts out a bad pass for Conta Palmi and then he just loses it and it goes forward advantage Australia as they've got Alexander breaking away through the middle how did he get that pass away nicely to Moen Moen cuts him in half good play from Moen how did he step in that got through that tackle and then Landajo has to put him into touch. And Australia, well, don't count them out just yet. We have a game on our hands. Here's Creevy's line out. Two jumpers this time. He goes nicely to Alba City in the middle. Landajo puts the boot on it and pretty much puts it straight down Mog's throat. Mog tries to step through Landajo and eventually it's come away for Tumua. He goes to ground just over the, just short of the 10 meter line in the end. Short ball to Hooper. Big pass again from Hooper. Going to Adam Ashley Cooper. They cut back to where the traffic is. And no real gain in the area there as Guinea comes off the back of the ruck by himself. Oh, he was Release. hammered pretty heavily. Argentina sniff a chance here. Oh, and they've turned it over. Good work, Argentina. Poor pass. But now they still manage to launch it off to the left. Good play from Momoff. Getting it away from Falau. Here's Albacete. Super play from him. Landajo, Figalo in the middle of the tackle, gives it away to Fernandez Lobby. Here's Leguzamon, oh, picked up and dumped on his back. Lucky, lucky not to get called up for that. 
Here we go again, Argentina. Lenda holds it, come to Pommy. He takes the tackle for Amorosino. He flies it out nicely for Hernandez. He's going to put it on the deck. Grubber ahead. He's only got a forward chasing. It could be a spectacular play for Argentina. We've seen them go to that, and we've seen the reward. It is Hernandez, the try scorer, out on the wing, using the boot to great advantage. And Juan Martin Hernandez, that's why he was put to number 10. Use, use of your best players, that is it. He was touch wasted, although very, very good at fullback. He has just been a bit more explosive, having a lot more ball in his hands. And that was a great little play too from the backs. Compton Palmy playing a bit of touch and tackle go with the Australian defenders before launching that wide ball. And Hernandez, woohoo! Puts the Argentinians in a, just a little bit more of a commanding spot here. Here's the conversion. Contempomi missed one earlier. That'll disappoint him. Looking to make amends. Sweetly struck from Contempomi. And he adds two more points. We have a 12 point ball game here. 19 points to 7. And with just 20 minutes to go, the Aussies still need three tries here. Maybe the focus was a bit wrong for them. Looking for the win. More than they're looking for all. Oh, anything else. They should have been focused more on the result rather than the five points. Not the best pass from Argentina. And Alba City goes back to clean it up. Orlandi and Matera combining with Creevy. Fernandez lobby. They're passing quickly, but it's intercepted. Australia, huge chance here. This will be try number two if they can get something here. Release. Argentina on the back foot. Big time coming for defence. Here's Hooper. He's been firing big balls out all day. He goes finally wide to Falau. And now Lilia Fado on the shoulder. He knows who to follow. And that was a great pass from Israel Folau. Mistake from Argentina. They were so close to getting out of trouble. But it's come undone. And how many times has Hooper done this? Big bullet passes. I'm off. Defended very well. But in the end, just too many numbers out there on the right-hand wing. Folau, good ball, good release in the tackle, the offload. And Australia, two tries to their name now. They're still not in the lead. They have big worries here, the Australians. Lilifano, he's going to kick it way out on the touchline. Just a few metres in from touch. Important kick this here. And he's nailed it too. It looks very nice. And it looks a very good two points for Christian Lilifano. The ref having a bit of trouble with his whistle, as he always seems to do. 13 minutes to go. We have a five-point ball game. Australia's win, well, will come down to points differential, which could be interesting if they don't get the five points. It will come down to that. And, well, that could be that could be really interesting. Argentina will hope that that doesn't happen because they want second place. Back it goes. Oh, high tackle. We haven't seen any punishment. Oh, dear, I had to say it. This could be trouble here for Argentina. Someone's going to see some time in the bin. Yellow card. Who is it? We won't see. We'll see. Oh, we won't even get a replay of the tackle. So that is it. He won't be back on the field. 70 minutes is up. Mog kicks the penalty away. And it's going to be interesting to see how they cope here. Argentina. The win would have put them into second. Now they're going to have to struggle to even win this match. Horwell goes nicely in the middle. Gives it away to Tumua. Nice ball there all the way out to Tamani. Good tackle and defense on him. Anamashi Cooper still offloads nicely. And they eventually go to ground Guinea. Moore plays halfback. Gives it to his captain. And they go straight wide to Falau. Falau's the danger man. He's going for the corner. He'll get put into the corner too. Good defense from Argentina. And this is a real pressure play. This is massive pressure. Four minutes to go. Creevy, line out. Goes nicely to the front. And it's taken beautifully from Carissa. And they put it down for the ruck. Very quickly down it goes. Lindaho goes to Contempomi. 
The wind against him, puts it onto the boot, and it's just gone to the 22. We've got a big finish in store here for you. This is really going to decide the championship. Australia could still win it on points differential. Oh, buzz is gone. Full time is gone. Who is going to win this match? Who is going to win the championship? Moen has it at the back. He goes for a bit of a run. Gives it to Tamua. They've launched the left very quickly. Now, Ashley Cooper gives it to Tamani. Back inside they go for Moen. Launching it. For Falau. Falau will score. Australia will steal it. Australia will be the only team not to lose to Argentina. And that is all on the back to Israel Falau. Argentina desperately tried to defend this ball. They just couldn't do it. Falau was too good. Cutting back in the midfield too fast. They covered it nicely to the left. They had Anamashi Cooper. Liliofano Tamani was covered. They were all nicely sorted, but not Falau. And he has punished them twice. And Liliofano will kick this one to victory. It's a pressure kick here, but it's a fairly easy one. But with just plus two. Oh, the points differential. It's going to be the killer here. Here's the kick. It's over. Australia do it. They have hung on, but they've only got three tries. They may not win the championship. Who would have thought Australia hang on and they win just by two points. One misconversion from Contempomi is all that has struck the Argentinians short. They played so well, they couldn't get that little extra three points. And in the end, the Aussies have just hung on. The Wallabies have done enough. Coming back in the second half, the yellow card, that could have been very crucial. And three tries apiece, but it was a conversion that was all separating them. 19-21, Australia win the match, but will they win the championship? I feel the All Blacks might have a better points differential. I don't know. It's gone close. Let's recap this one. Argentina tries for Matera, Hernandez and Amorosino. Gonzalez, Amorosino. Contepomi, two conversions. Australia, 21. Lelia Fano of two tries. And Falau, one. And Lelia Fano getting three conversions to match that. A big haul for him. 16 points altogether out of the 21. So a big day for him. Oh, carried Australia really Argentina they'll be aggrieved how could they not have won that match they dominated possession they had so much ball but they made big time handling errors in the second half it was 2-1 to one at half time 13-1 to one at full time so that really caps it off 11 second half errors and Australia have capitalised and they have won this one by the skin of their teeth the yellow card that was a big deal that was that could have been the difference in the end, that high tackle. And Australia have hang on. Well, let's let's cut to the chase. Let's go back. Let's see who has claimed the trophy for 2013. And there it is. It is all over. The All Blacks have hung on to claim the trophy for 2013 and come down to the wire. Thanks to that result in Argentina, the Wallabies stealing that late win, being the only team not to lose to Argentina as well, but it was not enough. The points differential of plus two put Australia on to plus 17. The points differential, the All Blacks though, were still plus 25. So just eight points in it between the two teams. Australia having to settle on equal points for second spot. The All Blacks taking out the trophy. Of course, Argentina finishing easily in third spot, just a few points behind, but way back way back with just four points was South Africa unable to build on that first victory they got and they have finished bottom of the table encouraging signs though for Argentina finishing three wins and three losses 50% success rate for them much improved effort from them this year and hopefully 2014 we'll see big things for these guys and hopefully with a roster update next year, we will be able to bring you another Rugby Championship Series with who? I don't know. That's up to you guys. Let me know who you might want to see next year. 
maybe closer to the time, and we'll be back with another Rugby Championship series. Of course, there's plenty more rugby for you guys to check up on if you want to watch some more. Of course, the Request Series will still carry on going, and we have plenty more competitions starting up in the near future when we get some roster updates for those ones. Things like the ITM Cup, the Viva Premiership, Pro 12, Heineken Cup, and anything else that we can get our hands on. So stay tuned for that, and of course, subscribe so you don't miss out on all the cool series that's starting up soon, as well as plenty of other games as well. We have a lot planned in terms of those kinds of things, so stay tuned. Some secret spoilers I have coming up. Stick around for that. And of course, if you like these series, give it a like and a fave, and that helps me out very much. So, of course, for the Rugby Championship, it is the All Blacks victors this year. And we look forward to 2014. Thank you all for watching the series. Hope you've enjoyed it. And thank you all for your input throughout the series. And we will see you soon next time for whatever we have in store. Until then, take care.